Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimple's Corner. Um, it is May 1st and I posted this image this morning and I've already had numerous people asking if I would do a video, so I thought I would try. Um, when I use colored pencils, I usually draw like this. I'm gonna try not to do that, uh, cause you know, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but I did start the background already because I do have the Jane Davenport prompt list and I think today was Ride the Wave. So last night I took my jelly plate, my uh, Jane Davenport jelly plate, obviously, um, last night and I, oh no, sorry, I did this one yesterday. I did this one last night. Lots of leftover yummies on there. So this morning all I did was take... They're all sitting right here still. I took these paints, ba -doop -ba doops I took this one on the bottom and then kind of did these ones around the edges. This one top middle with this. This is like a, in the metallics, it's not like just a white. And then this is a silver. And then this is just the gesso. Um, I took my paintbrush and just kind of painted on the jelly plate, like there was nothing magical about it, other than the colors are fantastic. And then I uh, took my brayer, did it lightly just to get off any excess paint, and crush splatted it down. And then all this like metallic orangey stuff was carryover from this, which is cool because it makes my book a little more cohesive. And I also took a couple of colors, like her hair and stuff. I'm gonna take these colors and try to incorporate them into this piece. So, let's pretend like I know what I'm doing. Uh, and we will start. I am using Prismacolor colored pencils over the top of my Jane Davenport acrylics. And I guess I could just explain this real quick. So, I wanted a blue theme. So she's gonna be blue, so I grabbed some different shades of blue. And then I got two, I don't know, I'm gonna call them rebel colors. Just gonna add them in here and there for no particular reason other than I like them. I grabbed these purpley shades for hair. We'll see how that goes. And then these colors that I showed you already will probably be for the eye. And let's get started. And you'll be hearing 17 in the background. All right. I'm kind of seeing a nose right in here. Like a profile. I didn't really want to do profile. Maybe I'll do a, I don't even know what it's called. There. It's not quite a profile, but you know, it's getting there. And I'm just sketching out in white. I don't know why. Ah, got no reason. Let's hope this all turns out. And I'm not using a reference. I probably should. But... I'm having fun. It's getting hard to see the eye up there. Oh, that looks wonky. Eyebrow. Eyeball. My whole idea for Mermaid this year was to use my jelly plate and just do faces on top. I've been really enjoying doing just faces. So I'm trying to incorporate the prompts into a face, which isn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Probably should have based off a fish, but it's all right. The first one was a koi fish. They don't all need to be fishy. She's just a pretty mermaid. Peak. 
just drawing in a hairline. I think I'm just going to kind of have it fade off. I don't know if I want to draw. Yeah, I think I'm going to have it fade off, so I'll focus a lot on her face. Um, anybody else get incredibly nervous when the camera's on? Is that just me? Oh, my pencil sharpener broke. I love this pencil sharpener. It's got like a, it has two holes. I do the first one, kind of gives it some length, and then you get this one to get more point. Oh, shavings cap fell off, so now my shavings go everywhere. All right, let's, let's just do some darks. I know I always like the lashes to be dark. So I'm gonna do her eyes so they can stand out a little bit more. Just easier for me to see, see what I'm doing. Eyebrows. All right, this side of the face will be dark, so I'm gonna darken up these lines. This is a little under bag under her eye. Cheekbone, edge of the nose. Curves up into the brow. It's nice having all this distraction in the background because then it doesn't have to look perfect. Um, eyelid crease. This is the, uh, I don't know what it is. Here's the Cupid's bow though. Back side of the lips. I wonder if I should give her lips like a touch of color. I don't know, we'll see. A little gel thingy. And the chin. Under the lip. All right, let's see here. I like to start with like one part. I mean, a lot of people work all over the place. I think I'm gonna focus on the lips right now. And then work my way up. And I think I'm gonna add just a touch of this, just so she's not all blue. It may not even show through, I don't know. And then we'll take the darkest. I'm also using some colors that I've never used before. Indigo is not one of those. see her teeth a little bit. Oh, so mm -hmm. This color, Copenhagen blue, is so pretty, I, I never use it. Basically, I'm just building up from my darkest to the lightest. And, uh, and nothing really, I guess. <laughs> I try not to add too much detail when I'm doing the darker ones. I'll come back in with the dark and add a little bit more. I just want an overall feeling. I might have just too many for her lips, like too many blues. Just doesn't need that much rendering. it helps with the separation of the lips. All right, let's start getting back into it. Get the details. I do like that that purple is subtly coming through. Some indigo. 
And they're just subtle markings, like, nothing's gonna be super dramatic. I'm gonna use a touch of the purple for shading on her teeth just to introduce another color. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Just use that to wipe off. Sometimes, like, the color sticks to the end, and nobody wants that. Alright, so the top of her lip, well, the skin after her lip is gonna be light. Get a little lip dip. And we can work on the chin while we're here. Kind of fun how she's slowly coming out of the background. And the chin's basically a ball. So if you can shade a ball, you can shade a chin. Simplify it anyway. <laughs> this blue basically looks white. And I'm basically making up anatomy if you can't tell. Because I'm too lazy to look up a reference. So I want to do that, and then I was going to kind of outline the lip in white just to make it stand out against that dark. I should have pulled out a black. Alright. We're getting somewhere slowly but surely. On the other side of that little part that connects from your nose to your lips. It's just dark. Nostril. Under the nose. A little lip dippy part. I basically just keep doing this, building up colors from dark to light, all the way up the face. Alright, we're just going to go on the back side of the nose. And she does, well, most people have somewhat of an eye bag on the bottom. I probably shouldn't have used white for <laughs> my initial sketch. It's alright. Still keeping things somewhat dark on this side. Probably won't bring in too much of the white. If at all. Alright. Back to the indigo blue. And work the, I don't know, what it's called, above the eye, under the brow, the eyelid part is right there, which will have just a touch of light. Mm -hmm. Take up the 
this says Copenhagen blue. It is so pretty. And I'm not a fan of blue, just so everybody knows. Well, I don't know, there's like a blue color out there that I really don't like. And it's like the color of like the BFI trash cans. I don't know. I have it. I don't have it in this room. I can't show you. But there is like a blue that just like my brain hates for some reason. Don't know why. Don't know why I share that with you. <laughs> the more you know. I'm just gonna give her dark eyebrows. Well, I tried to. Didn't really want to stick. Um, since this is the back side of her forehead, just bring it in a little bit. Since the front of the forehead is basically flat, like, this isn't gonna be really that dark. If it was around to where her temple was, yeah, it'd be a lot darker, but I can't see that, so I'm just gonna try and bring it out. All right, let's try and render her nose. Let's add a little pinkish tint to her nose, too. A little underline. Maybe she went up to the surface and got a little sun kissed. And I don't think I'm going to use indigo on it. Let me go in with the Copenhagen first. And color in the little ball, which is like the end of the nose. Nostril, the underside of it. The light's coming from this way, so it's not... I always draw this part of her nose highlighted, so I'm going to try doing it more on the side. Just to try and mix it up a little bit. May not work out, but that's all right. Only you and everybody watching this will know. And me. Just cheating, putting a little light line right there, just to make it stand out. Who knows, maybe she's an iridescent fish mermaid. This is a sky light, or sky blue light. Just trying to highlight just the top, and then get them off the side. Just do light up the side and it kind of comes into the cheek. And let's see, this side of her under eye bag will be lit. And the cheekbone. And basically, this is all going to be kind of light, so let's just lighten it up while we're here. Tie in all these colors. Maybe light up here on the brow, like the light of the brow bone, and then like this is kind of like, well this is the temple and then this is the forehead, so like where they meet is usually where the highlight can be. And this is right under the eyebrow where the brow bone is. Just kind of placing in all these lights will make it a little easier later. So the light's coming this way, there's flat parts, like little bits in here that it will hit. Of course, it depends on how your lighting is, but in my made-up mind world, in my mind, where my made-up world is, that's how the light's hitting. It's gotten quite waxy, so I'm just gonna lay on top. Soften that heart. 
upper edge right there. There's like a little hard divide between the nostril and the end of the Okay, that was really weird. My phone just stopped recording for some reason. At least it gave me a little warning, so I don't think we missed anything. Crazy, I know. So I'm gonna just add in. Ooh, that's fun. So guys, she's like, who is following me in these deep, dark depths of the ocean? Alright. Let's do the white side of the eyes. And let's shade them with a purple. I basically just start pressing hard and then I slowly work my way to a lighter pressure. And then when I do the white, I start off where it's gonna be whitest and I press hard and then I just fade off. And it blends the two together. She's got very purple eyes. All right. Do a little dark blue in the back. All right. I don't even remember what I was doing. I think I was working on the face before that moment happened of terrifying. Did it all shut off? All right. Let's let's work on her face. So. Working my way up. Just the eye eyelid crease. And then it's dark on this side of the ball of her eye. So we're just going to shade that out, create that little shape. Slash make it up as we go, people believe it. Alright, take the next lightest color and just kind of work this out. And then we'll take the next lightest blue that I have. <laughs> this one's almost a white, so I'm gonna start from the lighter side. And it was already quite light right there since I did my highlights earlier. But this is just to kinda Connect, it's like a connector color between the white and like the bluer blues. It's like a grayish, really pale blue. It is very close to being white. Here, she's probably in the white end. Ooh, there's pink on that. All right, it's getting darker as the cheek like curves under. So we'll start bringing in a darker color and just kind of working our way up. And fading into the white. I'm 
super tired of. Using a light hand, we're just smudging and blending to create a nice connection between the colors. Again. I'm excited when Rocky gets home, we're going to Michael's art supply store, not some random person's house. Why? Because there are some random things that we need to get. Oh yeah, I said we. I like how that kind of looks almost like a neon blue happening right there. Pretty. All right, let's let's give her that other eyebrow she's been longing for. happening. Just kind of lighten this up and make it pop out from the background a little bit. This color's nice. It matches the background quite well. Again, just going over very lightly, and then wanting to just touch over the top of that white pencil that I already put <clears throat> that I already put down. Ooh, lost my voice. All right, I think her skin is done for the most part. Let's fill in her eyes. She's gonna have dead eye for a second. Um, until I do the highlights, because I've been enjoying this look. Basically, this is basically the shadow from her eyelid and the nose and all that jazz, and then her pupil. So this side, we're going to have the pupil, and then we'll have the shadow from the eyelid. So just fill all that in. It just looks dead eye because she doesn't have any highlights yet in it. Or as I like to say, highlights. And oh my god, the song is perfect. The song is called Highlight. So let's add in this orange. And I think I'm going to add just a touch, I'm not going to press very hard, but a touch of white, because that'll help the yellow. And I'm about to add, stand out a little better. Otherwise it might turn a little green with the, uh, if it like picks up on the blue. And he's still turn a little green. What can you do? <laughs> And I'm just doing this to add some of those fun little weird shapes that people get in their eyes. Could have done some really crazy shape with her pupil, I suppose. I mean, she's a mermaid. Who knows what she's got going on. I haven't really used these guys much. Might be a little too late. I mean, this basically just blends in anyway. It's got a touch more green in it, so it's kind of kind of pretty adds a little a little something different a touch of iridescence and then this color I'm almost afraid to introduce in a big way maybe I'll just keep it small 
So small you won't even notice. I mean, I guess I did put it in her lips. All right, whatever. She went in variation. Um, I'm debating on how I want to do her eyelashes. Weird and never on the end. Shave it down. <gasps> I, threw my I threw my trash can away. I threw my sharpener away. All right. Because this is so coated in wax that I don't think I'm going to really get the lashes out of it. So, dun dun dun. Here comes the scary, scary part of getting a pen. And pens don't really like to sit on top of waxy goodness. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Maybe I'll give her white eyelashes and use like my little Sharpie pen. Ooh, that could be fun. Okay. Cause why not, right? First, let's add, wait, ooh, here's a scary one. I would like to thank Jenna for supplying me with this delicious extra fine point white sharpie. I mean, I think underwater you really don't even have highlights. Yeah, like I need to be drinking more caffeine while I'm doing this. All right, let that dry for just a hot second because I don't want to be like eyelashes and then smear everything out of the way. Mm, coffee, okay. Some might say I have a problem. All right, let's see if I can do this. It's not bad. Definitely makes it more interesting. And lashes come down and back up. That's why I'm swooping into her eyeball. Well, that's fun and interesting and unexpected. Unless you were expecting it, then good for you. Little highlight on the nose. Highlight slash freckly bits. I don't know if I like that. I'm just gonna do that and smurge it in. Smurge it in. All right. Now we've got some purples for the hair and white. Did my music stop? It's very sad. What the heck is that? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. One moment, please. Very important. Can't function without music playing. What kind of monster do you think I am? Of course, if Rocky's trying to listen, then it would cut off. So, oh, we'll see. 
This is far more important. What, what? All right. So hair and the waves. Oh, give like a big wave of hair. And then I'll stop. I don't want to go pat. Like I don't want to go outside of the square. It's my little frame. All right. And I'm stopping here because the hair. Like I stop right here because the hair comes down, so you won't see that part. Or like you wouldn't see that part. And this hair. And we'll come down. And this can just kind of do its thing. And again, we're fading off, so it doesn't really have to be all that crazy going that way. Actually, I'll take this and dark, do just some dark stripes. And just have those fade up. It's an easy way to do hair, just start off dark and go light and whatever. This is under the wave, so I'll make it dark under here. The wave of her hair. Rather than drawing all the strands and blah, 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 just shade it dark. What are people gonna do, not like it? No, oh, sad. And you can already see like kind of where the highlight's gonna be. This side will be a bit darker just because there's no light. And this is all under the wave as well. And then these bits, I don't even know if I really wanna color those in. We'll just give a hint. All right. Take this next lightest color and just kind of drag it out a little more. Just kind of fill in some spots. And the neighbor is weed whacking, so apologize if you can hear that going on. I find it entertaining. I always think it's funny when people are like, on their YouTube, they're like, oh, um, I'm sorry about that noise happening in the background. I never hear it. So I think it's funny that they're apologizing for, you know, something that I can't hear. And I'm probably doing the exact same thing. Can you hear the weed whacker, the yard worker thing happening? All right, adding some random hair strands in a lighter color. And now we're going up to the next lighter color, this one. I should probably tell you the colors are the purples. This one is Parma Violet. And then this one is Lilac. And then this one is Grade Lavender. It's a nice light purple. Mostly just gonna be working it in the highlight areas, which happen to be in a very dark spot on the background. All right, that was kind of pointless. Throw out some random strandy strands. All right, I'm gonna come in with white because that color wasn't quite punchy enough. So we're just adding a little glare highlight. some random strands plus like the white pencil looks pretty in the blue I feel like I need a darker purple to just amp up oh maybe more color I don't think I've ever used this color this is exciting what do we got here oh it's straight up violet this is my test page yeah we'll try that just wasn't loving how this wasn't separating. And it's subtle, 
but at least now there's more of a separation of her hair from like the wavy part. The shadow of it, I should say. It's a little more noticeable. And I can just add some random strands in here just to help punch up the color and the, the contrast. Kind of getting messy, but I don't mind. Just adding some lines, just so you know it's hair. Some dark. Ooh, that's kind of fun. How it like? It's really dark on the blue. That adds a nice contrast. <laughs> don't want to do too much because then it really takes away from the effect. All right. Add in. Ooh couple highlights in here. Nothing too dramatic. And then I think I'm going to add just, I think I want to do white to really help her pop off the edge. Just a little bit on the nose. Just a touch of highlight on the back side of her lip. It's almost like glossy lips. Just to help them stand out a touch. Subtle, but helpful. All right. She can have a couple of, a couple of white hairs, cause, cause I got some. She needs to have some too. And I think we can call her good. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this, cause it's a very Kimball thing to do. I think this concludes Mermaid day two, but we're still on day one. So yay for the jump start. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will uh, probably do another one sometime later. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, okay, I'm sorry. Wasted your time. Now you know. Ooh, so pretty. All right, like and subscribe, and I will uh, see you next week. Bye.